Welcome to NetCobol for .NET Windows Forms. The learning objective for this lesson is to provide you with a basic understanding of the Windows Form Designer and an introduction to event-driven programming. We're going to, uh, from a topic perspective, we're going to go ahead and build our first Windows Forms application. We're going to learn about setting form properties and designer pro preferences. We're going to add controls, use the grid lines and snap lines, and of course we're going to align controls and kind of get a feel for the aesthetics of uh, building a Windows Form application. Uh, we'll also go ahead and uh, change the properties. We'll learn about design time properties and runtime properties. We'll talk about smart tags, container controls, and then of course we'll get into the real nuts and bolts of it and actually code some COBOL code uh, behind the, um, the buttons and, and so forth. So uh, sit back and let's begin. Okay, let's start in here with Windows Forms. Windows Forms is a modern framework for rapidly building more traditional Windows client applications that take full advantage of the processing power of Microsoft Windows machines. Windows Forms applications can be used for standalone productivity applications, office desktop applications, or they can be the front end to an application with a multi tier architecture. Windows Forms provides a very comprehensive set of extensible and reusable libraries for user interface controls. It also features a drag and drop uh, user interface designer and it offers enhanced support for data, localization, printing, layout, and usability. Now, when building Windows Forms applications in Visual Studio 2005, developers have access to a very rich set of controls for creating powerful and very intuitive user interfaces. There's also enhanced support in Visual Studio 2005 for specialized controls such as tool strips, menu strips, as well as XP theme support to give your Windows Form application a very polished and professional look. Now, altogether, Visual Studio 2005 provides access to roughly 100 different controls. There are also a sizable number of controls from third party providers that are available. The bottom line here is that you, as a COBOL developer, can create applications with the Windows Forms developer. The tools will allow you to improve your productivity, reduce complexity, and it will allow you to create comprehensive Windows Forms applications with very little effort. Now, moving on to event-driven programming. Event-driven programming, or event-based programming, is a computer programming paradigm in which the flow of the program is determined by the user actions like a mouse con uh, click or a key press in a graphical user interface. It also responds to messages from other programs. So for many of you, this is going to be a pretty new concept. However, if you've used any Windows programs over the past several years, you have been using a program that was designed using event-driven programming. Now, let's contrast this with some of our old COBOL programs. With these programs, the developer of the COBOL program determined the overall flow and behavior of the program. Event-driven programs are extremely dynamic, and for the most part, they can be reasonably user-friendly. If you will recall, back in Lesson 1, we talked about namespaces. Let's revisit that topic for just a moment. What you see here is a representation of some of the namespaces that we would use for a Windows Forms application. The one thing that is a constant here is that the same APIs, namespaces, and basic techniques are common for creating all .NET Windows Forms applications, regardless of the programming language that you're using. In the last lesson, we learned how to create a new solution and projects. We're going to reinforce and expand that topic in this lesson. So what we'll do is we'll create a Windows Form solution and project, and we'll uh, go ahead and learn how to adjust the properties and uh, settings of the solution and the properties uh, of, the, of the form and the controls that are on the form. We'll also visit about how to configure the Windows Form Designer properties. Before you begin placing objects on your form, there are some IDE settings that you can change to simplify your user interface while you're in the design phase. Well, as usual, we've covered a lot of ground in this introductory lesson for Windows Forms. We talked about setting forms properties and designer preferences, 
adding controls using grid lines and snap lines, aligning and formatting controls, locking controls, and then of course setting properties. We also took a look at smart tags, container controls, and we talked about event-driven COBOL code. And we talked about also the code behind code that's uh, generated by the Windows form designer. Well, let's go on to the next lesson.